Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This is the new moon energy in Libra, which is happening, I believe, tomorrow morning, 5.55 in the morning, the new moon goes into Libra. So we are going to see what messages need to come out and what is coming towards you during this time. Always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. Especially if you have placement in Libra, you want to watch that because it's obviously Libra is about emotions and love. All right, spirit. Four of my Scorpios. All right. Well, it's saying coming to the edge. Card of nine. Taking that leap of faith. And a leg up. You might be helping someone out during this time. It might be like, you know, when you hold the door for someone, it might be someone that you, um, you connect with. It's going to be like, you know, you're in the energy of helping out people. Putting, extending yourself out to people that may need you during this time. And you're coming to the edge on something. Taking a leap of faith towards something. Oh, the world card. It might be when you're out and about or in your community that you find a caring connection. A brand new beginning. Let's see, because those three didn't want to pop, come up with the rest of the deck. Thank you, Spirit. Action. Yeah, you are. You're taking a leap of faith towards something. I hope you all are having a great weekend. During this time, during this Libra season, I feel like the sun is going to be shining down on you guys. Some warmth and happiness is coming your way. I feel like either someone's taking action towards you and you're taking that leap of faith, or you're taking a leap of faith and taking action towards someone. But the, it's going to be like balance restored. It's the yin, the yang. All right, what is Scorpio's energy spirit? The Empress in reverse. So with this in reverse, you might be lacking some self-confidence. You might be, um, you just might be feeling down on yourself. There might be some work that you need to remember your self-worth, raising your vibration. Knowing that you are so unique because there's only one of you. But I feel like you, for some of you, you may be feeling down on yourself. What is the current situation, Spirit? All right. The moon. You might be hiding feelings for someone. Or you just might be a little bit, you know, closed off. And I, I really feel like you might be suffering in silence when it comes to a connection. It's like you want to move towards your wish fulfillment. You want to extend that offer. But there might be somebody coming in to give you good news that it's being hidden. Things coming to light. And it's going to be that... That flow, that healing flow of energy. See the amethyst energy? Let's see. But with the moon card here, it's like things mysterious, things being hidden. You could be holding back. But on the flip side, it could be things coming to light. What is blocking or helping with the current situation? Yeah, see, it is about love. 
That's what I was getting. It is about a connection. What is the past energy spirit for my Scorpios? The High Priestess. Very powerful card. This could have been a spiritual connection. But it's also the no talking. You and this person are not speaking and there is action being taken. But one of you is going to come to the edge. What is the future energy for my Scorpios during this new moon in Libra? Spirit. Devon Year of Cups. Yep. The offer. It's like your third eye is awakening. There are third eye could be awakening and the offer being made. Could be a fire sign, could be a fellow water sign. What does Scorpio need to embrace? Look at this. The offer that's coming towards you is divinely guided. In the Four of Cups, it's you may feel very disinterested in what's going on in your life right now. Um, for those of you that are in a connection, you might be, feel like it's there is nothing going on. It's basically stagnant. For those of you that are single, it's like you feel a little bit closed off. But there is a divinely guided offer coming in. So for those of you that are with someone, it's like... The person's in front of you and on your path for a reason. And it was divinely guided towards you. For those of you that are single, there is a divinely guided offer coming right for you. It's like turn around so you don't miss it. Don't be closed off to it so that it doesn't come towards you. Don't create that barrier. And what does Scorpio need to let go of during this new moon over? See, don't let go of the idea that it is possible. There is a very strong connection coming towards you. And remember, I just showed you the card where it was closed off. This is allowing the offer to come in. There could be detours. There could be obstacles towards you finding the right one. But you are making your way there. And it is a very strong connection. The sun shines on the moon to take over the darkness. And look at the stars aligning right for the two of you. Like I said, it's going to be a healing energy. There's, It's going to be balanced and it's going to be very healing. No, never taking your foot out of the water to finding your dreams come true, to finding your wish fulfillment. It could be, it definitely could be a fire sign. All right, Spirit, why is the Empress in reverse? I don't normally take reversals and that flipped out in reverse. All right, let's see. Flipped on the floor, guys. See? There is someone making their way towards you very slowly. Could be a younger earth sign. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But they're making your, their way towards you. It could be that the very slow moving energy and um, things are happening for you as quick as you would like them to is diminishing feeling like, you know, what about me? It's not about you. It's not what you're not bringing to your life or to the situation. It's just the slow moving energy within yourself and within the connection coming towards you. It's coming towards you very grounded. And you are working on yourself. You're taking these little baby steps um, for yourself. And I always say slow and steady gets you very grounded, has you established, you know, it, it, you, you work on your finances on, in the meantime. You work on your career and your own solid foundation. You're making your way towards one another. And I do feel with the Three of Cups here, you could be out somewhere with your family, 
with your coworkers, with your, your friends, and you might meet this person there. Why is the moon card here with the Ace of Cups? Why is the moon card here with the Ace of Cups? The Hierophant. I really do feel like there's somebody holding back their feelings for you with the moon card here. There's someone who's secretly keeping how they feel for you. Look, it's the Knight of Cups. They want to come towards you. Or you might have your eye on someone and not letting them know. See how she's looking back over her shoulder? It's like, the, you know, but it's going to come to union. You want this union with someone or they, there's someone that wants their, a union with you. Please clarify the High Priestess. The Princess of Swords and the Princess of Pentacles. Scorpio, for those of you that are single, I do feel there's two different offers coming towards you. Could be a younger air sign or could be a younger earth sign or they have those characteristics. I do feel there's somebody that wants to communicate with you and at one time you might have to make a decision. Or there could be somebody that is eyeing you up over the internet or social media or you're dating online and this person extends you know their offer out to you for those of you that are with someone it's again it's like see what drew you to one another for those of you that are feeling bored in your connection it's like almost see put your devices down See what drew you to one another and work on that. Everything takes time. Everything, it could feel like it's in very slow motion. But when it's slow, it's time for you to soul search. It's time for you to see what's really coming towards you. It's time, it's like it gives, it's the energy of remaining on your feet and not being knocked over by what is coming towards you. Or blindsided. And why is the Devon Euro Cups here, Spirit? Yeah, there's movement. And with the chariot, it's like always the yin and the yang. There is movement happening during this new moon in Libra, during Libra season. A healing energy. I feel like you've taken a break or a pause or spent some time alone to regroup, to gather yourself, to heal from anything that needed to be dealt with. There is a passionate beginning for you. And it's about love. And why is the Four of Cups here with the lovers? All right, let's see. Perfect. And look at this. Feeling on top of the world during this new moon in Libra. A brand new beginning. And there's the offer, the Ace of Pentacles. You could meet this person even maybe online if you're like in a Zoom meeting and it's about work. But there's a lot of Pentacle energy. And it's like I said, if you're feeling alone right now, if you're feeling like things aren't happening for you in the best energy and the fastest energy, you know, you see relationships around you happening or connections and you're sitting there thinking like, when is it going to be my time? It's coming. Um, it's coming very slow, but it's coming where the person, when they finally reach, when you finally reach one another, you're going to put dedicate yourself to one another. You're going to allow that healing energy to flow through both of you. You're going to realize why things in the past didn't work. And why those people that left you feeling out in the cold why that is now in the past and the stable offer is right in front of you. And like I said, with the lovers here, it's going to be a strong connection. It could be, for some of you, it could be over the internet with the Page of Swords here, Princess of Swords. For others of you, I feel like it may be around work. Like this place comes in, 
This person comes into your place of employment, you know them through a coworker, or you meet them through a coworker, or they're your boss or your coworker. Somehow it might deal with your finances and your um, employment or career. But there is being action taken right towards you, and you are going to take that leap of faith. It could be like when you extend yourself and maybe stop to help somebody with a flat tire and it's, you know, you might even meet them while you're helping someone else out, helping someone else move. It might be like on the other, other person's party, there might be somebody there helping them move and that's when you meet your person. Somehow like you're, you're helping someone giving like um, assistance in something, but you're actually coming to the edge and finding someone that you didn't expect to be on your path. All right, love and light guys, have a great weekend. I will be back for the beginning of October readings and stay safe.